it's Bill here. This is charging a car battery with a charger. And I thought I'd uh, just give you a little illustration here. This is a older charger that I have. It's a 10-2, meaning that it charges at 10 amps and it charges at 2 amps. If the battery's dead, this little green arrow that's, I don't know if you can see it, but it'll be lobbed way over here to the right. And eventually when it gets below 5, I usually figure the battery's charged good. So you might have to leave it on for 6, 8, 10 hours. It depends upon how bad that battery's been depleted. The other thing, before I connect up, I do not plug in this thing. That's the last, very last thing I do is to plug that in. And the reason is, is because you don't want some sparks to happen and have the battery explode because the acid that bubbles off of that, the vapors, can explode on you. So, now, in my left hand, I have a positive. This is red. It's getting kind of dark from usage over the years. And this one on the right is a black, okay? This one is positive. It goes on the post that is the largest post, and it will be marked POS. The newer batteries all have stamps on them that says POS for positive. The negative side has NAG for negative, and the black one would go to it. Now, I normally will only hook up the positive to the battery if it's in the car. And then I go and I hook up this negative part to some place that's frame uh, connected, meaning it can hook to the engine or maybe someplace, but away from the battery in case there was a spark. Even though I have that battery charger unplugged, in case there is a spark, you're not going to get a big problem because you got it way up here. So first off, connect this positive, then go plug this someplace else. Now if you can't do that, you come over, you hook this up, and you hook that up. I've never had a spark when the battery charger has been unplugged. Then, after I've done that, I will go over and plug this in. Okay? Now, I do the same thing in reverse. I will unplug this first. Then once I've done that unplugging, then I will unplug the negative, hold it in my hand, and then I'll unplug the positive. I do that if a battery was just sitting out on the ground. And by the way, don't leave batteries sitting on cement. It drains them. You want to have them on a piece of wood or something. But I will undo that negative, and then I'll undo the positive. But the very first thing I do is unplug that charger. Hope this helps, and you have a great day. Take care now.